good morning to you, sweet light workers of Earth. We are very glad that we can continue to come back into these places of elevation with you. There was a time not too long from now, just a few years ago, where we were communicating with you in these same facets, in these same manners. Yet the collective consciousness of the planet was nowhere near where it is now and the transmissions could not be heard. <sighs> Crystal heard a funny comment come through on a podcast as she was strolling through her YouTube to find music the other day. And a gentleman came on and said, mind reading is going to be the new internet. Mind reading is going to be the way of the future. And his interpretation of mind reading is our definition of telepathy. And we would agree with this concept. We would also like you to know that this information, this availability for your body to tune into frequency and begin to decipher it is much broader than you expect and also much more available to your human experience now. You will continue to find those who are tuning into the light being able to tune into the energies, whether it be collectively, individually, intergalactically. And they may be seen as people who can foresee, yet they have the same information that every human on the planet has at this moment. And this is why Crystal tells people all the time, I am not special though she is and she knows it and we know it and you all know it you are all the same though and that is the point that she is making in that message that everything that you see in her that you find resonance with that you find beauty in is also within you and we would like the human collective and the light workers especially to begin to tune into the higher advances of oneness what does it mean to be one with the others? There is a concept on your planet of love and light that is leading you a bit astray. It's keeping you complacent and not asking for more. And we want to say that your love and your light is full of creativity and compassion and nurture and understanding but it is also very clear in its boundaries. You see, the light that you carry is limitless, yes. Yes, yes. And if you choose to create in a lower density, there really is no judgment. There is no judgment. But there is a vibrational container of Earth. And the vibrational container of Earth is shifting. She is ascending. And if you do not match her energy and continue this ascension with her, you are choosing that this is not your path. And nobody over here minds one bit. You see, it is your experience. But we want you all to know that the possibilities of the container you are in, this vessel, this body, this beautiful mechanism that you are in, it all holds the same capabilities of experiencing light. Your experience, yes, gets to get defined through your desire with your soul and source. But you all have the same potential to be in the attunement and expression and availability and deliverance of your highest aspect. And it's okay if your mind can't fully comprehend how great your soul is. And we don't mean great in goodness. We mean great as in omnipresence, as in there are larger aspects of you that have not been embodied in this soul. 
that there is a part of you that never fractalized itself from source and that part of you still has expression and that part of you still had cords of information that are able to be received by your physical mechanism in this reality you see <clears throat> yes there's a part of you here having this very very human experience but the greater part of who you are is still existing outside of this physical form but it is you it is you it is the all-encompassing all-knowing aspects of you it is the memory of you in other times and other in other places light worker and we love you so much but how many times do you have to hear that the things you are seeking are already within you. That the aspects of yourself that you would like to see more expressed are not some far reaching thing that you must go discover and find in this never ending world of hide and seek. It's not true. You came here fully embodied with everything that you would need for this life. Your soul knows how to work this body and this body is so much more than you've been taught just like the inside of a computer has a chip that has retained a programming sequence your brain is a chip that has downloaded a program sequence. But we need you to know that that brain, that chip, it's reprogrammable by your focus. And you do not have to dive into the never ending rabbit hole of where this all came from and how it all started. That information will be revealed to you through the truth of your heart chakra when you continue to come into your soul space. But for right now, we want you to understand that all you have to do is put your focus on what you want and you will be retraining that chip. You will be reprogramming these circuits. You are not hardwired for earth. You are hardwired for source to be an expression. And as you continue to focus your awareness on your light, you will relinquish the matrix. You will let go of the program. Why are we telling this to you today? Because you place way too much energy on figuring it out. Light worker, along the way, Somebody decided, somebody as in you, the collective, decided that if we explained these outstretched frequencies of who we are at our core through this matrix idea that we would be able to ground it, explain it, teach it, create courses. Yet we want to say you are taking something so beautiful and broad, a, a download that is so broad for this system to retain, for this circuit to receive new information. You are creating limitation. What if you downloaded the program without the expectation that you would know what it is or how to work it right away? Maybe like entering into a new job, you allowed yourself the brand new space, the clean slate to learn and go through training, to go through training. Many light workers at this time are standing outside this hyperbial business building going, well, am I going to like the job? Am I going to like the job? Do I want the job? I want the job. I really want this job, but you're not going in the building. You're just standing outside trying to figure it out. And we want you in the building. We want you in the experience. Light worker, receive your new program. 
the theme of your ascension is always going to be letting go of everything that you think that you know. Every level of consciousness you extend yourself into is a stepping stone that will bring you into a higher understanding. And sometimes in order to absorb that new program, that higher understanding, you will have to let go of the last step. But then people say to themselves, but what if I'm wrong? I've got nothing to fall back on. And this isn't a game of wrong or right. This isn't a game of black and white and understanding it in all ways in this very linear structured form. This is your soul. This is your soul. It doesn't belong in a container of limitation. And what if you just allowed yourself to have the information? This is why so many run from the shadow self and avoid doing the work. Because they want to keep their limitations so that they can keep their surroundings, proving them right, validation. It's wild to us that the physical mechanism, this egoic structure and physical mechanism together wants to be right more than they want to be in the truth, light worker. Every single light worker, person, human, available on this planet to their soul's understanding has the wherewithal within them to bring in information. This is why we will say time and time again, you know, Crystal, as special as you are, you are right and that you are not special and that this is only yours. This is everybody's. And how delicious is it to have a way shower in your presence that understands that this is not just her. This is all of you. This is all of you. And she knows this. And this is why she works within the collective, because she knows that this thing that she has opened up to, this communication that she has opened up to, it belongs to the oneness, not the ego. Stop trying to figure it out, light worker, and let yourself experience your soul. Crystal and Teresa were having a conversation this morning about desire. Really understanding and recognizing where desire comes from, you see. Because it does not come from your personality structure. And that is a confusing truth when you are trying to place energetics back in the matrix. Because the matrix will tell you that desire is yours. As this being. We want you to know that desire is a frequency that's being given to you by your higher self. And you wouldn't even have that desire if your higher self hadn't already manifested the energetics of this beautiful thing that would serve your experience so well. But then you begin to receive this download and you say, oh, this is mine. I know exactly what this is and I'm going to attach it to this. But what if you didn't? What if you did it, light worker? What if you didn't attach that desire? What if you just allowed it to float in your heart? What if you allowed it to expand the energetic walls of the heart chakra so that you could contain more of your light, more than figure out how to reach the manifestation and physicality of that desire? Mm. Do we have your attention? You are so much more than you see here. And until you recognize that this physical vessel and this physical experience is just an expression of the higher aspects of who you are, and that higher aspect of who you are is still residing in source energy at its fullest, your over soul has not fractalized itself, sweet light worker. There are aspects of your soul that are fractalized, that are out of your body, still holding higher consciousness, yes. There are also fractals of your soul that are existing in a parallel reality running concurrently to this one. Are you living right now? Yes, in another reality. What do you think deja vu is? What do you think these moments of clarity are? There is an aspect of you that is out living the things that you don't want. To give your highest aspect, the one that is living right here in this timeline, the clarity that's being asked for from the physical realm. 
How do you know you are the highest aspect in physical creation with your soul? You are hearing this message, aren't you? If you were living in the density of the lower parallel realities that your soul has fractalized itself into for experience, you would not be attaining this information. This information is attained by the soul's stretchiest expression. The furthest aspect of you that's been created in physical form thus far. Yes. Lightworker, we love you. And we will always be patiently awaiting your rejoining with the whole so that we too can experience what your soul is going through in this physical reality. It is very exciting for us. This is why you are seeing so many aspects of the higher self of these light workers coming forward from future parallel timelines and other realities, other universal constructs leading you, leading you as above, so below. There are many higher aspects of your soul that are coming into this reality to give you information, to lead you out of the matrix. But if you keep taking this information and trying to make it fit in what you already know, you're not expanding. We're going to ask Crystal to take a step back. She is wanting us to go into timelines a little bit further today to explain this information. Mm, but we feel like we've given bits and bobs in other channels and we don't really want to discuss that today. That is a whole new topic in itself. Just know that every choice point you make, an aspect of you lives on. Gathering information. There are many aspects of you that have stayed in density and did not evolve in the way that you are experiencing your evolution now. And those lower, denser aspects are giving you information and you are giving them information. Just as though the higher aspects of who you are that are not in any sort of human physicality are doing this to you in physicality. Yeah, but that is all the clarity we will give for today. Because our message is not figuring it out. Our message is letting it in. <clears throat> the more you let information, energy, light into your body's field and recognize, ooh, I'm downloading something right now. I'm integrating something right now. I'm moving something right now. I'm shifting something right now. And let that be exciting. It's going to continue to expand. But the moment you feel the energy and you go, oh, what is that? Because I don't know what that is. I don't know what that is. And now I need to be on my mission to know what that is. When you don't have the full download just yet, you are allowing your egoic structure to get intertwined with this download. And it's muddying the waters and making you very confused. We want you to let go of everything that you know and keep being open to what's coming in. And if it changes the things that you thought you knew, let yourself integrate, trust the process, and when the dust settles, sit with your guidance for clarity. We will tell you that you are birthing right now, light worker. You are in a um, very large birthing phase. You have been. But we are at the point of no return. There is no going back to who you were. And the acceleration of these energies on your planet are going to continue to increase as you step outside of time. You see, as you step outside of time, things will get very still. But as you are stepping outside of time, things will get very fast. And if you sit with that information, there is more there for you that will be revealed by your soul. 
But if you connect to and hang on to and cling to, how is that so? You create confusion around this nugget that is keeping you dense. Your body is an energetic container and it wants to let the energy in and it does not want to filter it. Practice this. We also are encouraging you to practice this because in doing so, you are going to let go of so much resistance. The Lightworker Collective thinks they know what joy is, but we will tell you the joy you are feeling is a joy that you are feeling while you are still pushing against yourself. That is how powerful you are. And should you let go of the places where you literally are holding yourself back, your joy will be exponential. If you could just stop trying to figure it out, you would be so happy. We don't want you to figure out your marriage. We want you to find a way within yourself to no longer be triggered by your partner so you can see things clearly. When you are triggered, you cannot make decisions. And that is not their responsibility. This is your responsibility, light worker. When you take your soul's aspects and try and ground them into this matrix world, there's a lot of victimhood that gets involved. There's a lot of spiritual ego that gets involved. And you are not these things. Sure, the falsities of this space are not as dense as what is truly come from the matrix. Yes, we would agree with you in that. But you are limiting what you are receiving by placing it into matrix form. The where, the why, the how, the when, it is none of your business, light worker. It truly is none of your business. Your masculine action was never to figure it out. Your masculine action was to move with the feminine aspects of yourself that are intuitively trusting your knowing. And from there it is clear. Your masculine action was to move forward with a solid foundation of support for oneself. But you move forward and balance with that divine feminine energy, which is the trust of your knowing. Moving forward with the trust of your knowing. And your knowing is the crown chakra. Your knowing is not your root chakra. And you have been so ingrained in your root chakra and feeling from that place, whether it be fear or foundations of empowerment. It's still very embedded in what the matrix life and the matrix way of being has to offer. And we're going to ask that you come into the crown chakra now. We are going to ask that you trust your knowing. Those that are here listening to these messages, for the most part, have healed their body, have walked the path of reparenting those inner voices and inner victimhoods, and now are kind of finding themselves walking between these two realities of the old way of being and this new way of being. And sometimes we don't know what's next and we're afraid to go into it. So we take what's next and we put it into the way that it was. And then it's not working and we're not happy and it doesn't feel full. When we say follow your heart, we mean follow the upward trajectory of your body's consciousness that wants to move from the heart chakra into the throat. Your heart wants expression. Your love. Your essence. It wants to be expressed in authenticity. And once that happens, there's a new clarity that comes into that third eye chakra. And as long as you are not in phases of overthinking and, and trying to figure it out really, really intensely, you will not block that energy. You want to talk about duality. Let's talk about the duality you are allowing to exist in your mind's eye. We want there to be imagination there. We want there to be vision there. And you're overthinking the way to do it. 
You're trying to figure it out through the mind space. That is not the energy of the third eye. The third eye is your vision, your own personal vision of how the energy unfolds. But when you try and take that energy into the brain, it's going right back into the matrix in a world that you already know. But if you allow it to fester in the third eye space, in the imagination space, in that vision that's connected to all that you are, you let it come in in a new way. You let it be seen in a new way. And then the old programs of the mind aren't so heavily involved and you have a new stepping stone to move from. And then from there, you can lean in a little bit more again and again and again, furthering yourself from the matrix, allowing yourself to be the way shower of this new energy, this new light. Yeah. Why is this important, Crystal is saying to us? Because you have entered into a transition on your planet. And it needs you in your soul space. It needs you balanced in your essence. But when your essence is very ingrained, when this information is very ingrained in who you were and who the world was and who the world looks like it may become because of what it was, you're not letting it in. You're not balancing out the energetics of your body's consciousness with your soul. And when you find yourself thinking about whether or not you are right or wrong, you are absolutely in the matrix. Because here there is no right or wrong. It is only the perception of your soul's experience that coagulates into thought form. And it's so much more than what this earthly reality can give to you at this time. So go deeper, light worker. Find the, de- find the desires of your soul. You've already gone through a portion of your life experiencing the desires of the personality, the egoic structure. And it's been very mediocre for your experience. And that is what was first so exciting about the information of this light how expansive it was, how outside of the matrix it was, how full of possibility and magic it was. But then your human self believes that in order to make it real, it must get brought in a very grounded way, a digestible way that the human mind can understand right now. But don't you see how that information is keeping the human consciousness exactly where it is? We don't want you to ground energy in that way. We don't want you to ground energy by understanding it so you can explain it to the others. We want you to ground energy into your body by letting it in and allowing your body to hold space for more light, to stretch, to expand, to bring in more. When you are doing a puzzle and you put five pieces together, do you proclaim it is complete and then get mad you cannot see the rest of the picture? Because that is what's happening along this journey now. You are receiving a few downloads and then saying to yourself in the world that I know how this goes and we love you so much, Lightworker, but you do not. You have only gathered a few pieces. And if you would be happy with the pieces you have because they are giving you clarity, you would continue to let in the other pieces that will give you this whole picture. This whole picture. But the egoic structure thinks it knows the way. So after a few pieces being given and put together, oh, I got this. I know exactly what this is. It's a boat. Yet the full picture is 
a very small boat in a very large ocean, a very large, beautiful ocean, and that ocean still has information. But when you're focused on the boat, you're not getting the information. You have been trained to pinpoint your focus. And we are asking you to broaden your horizons. When you meet a new person for the first time and you interact with them a few times, you hang out with a new friend three, four times. You are not proclaiming to the universe you know everything about them. You are very aware that there is more to learn, that there is more to share, there is more to experience, so that you can have the full picture of this being and what your relationship and co-creation can be together. Stop defining it. Let it be more broad. And we're not saying stop defining it entirely because your definition is your essence. But when you stop defining it so quickly so that your egoic structure can be validated, you let go of the egoic desire to know and you let in the soul's desire for truth. Ultimately, when you feel into your consciousness, that desire for truth is what you're wanting. But your human experience will tell you that in order to have truth, you must have this strong knowing of exactly where it needs to be placed and how to defend it. How to defend it. No, Lightworker, you have been misled. Let it in. Let this stream of information enter in to your circuit board and begin to reprogram it without having to define it so early on. And watch things change. Watch things shift. You are capable and you are powerful. And you are connected. It is your expectations and your thoughts and your wanting to put it in this matrixy box that is keeping it separated from truth. In the matrix, you have three puzzle pieces. In the flow, when you're letting it in, not defining it too much, letting it reveal itself to you, you will receive the full picture. You will receive the full picture. You can't stop it. It's coming. I mean, you can. There are people that are. There are people that believe they are letting this new energy in. Yet they are still in victimhood. Why not me? Why are things so bad in my life? Why am I having all of this frustration? We love you. We love you. You're choosing it. And we want you to know there's another choice. Don't try and figure it out. Don't let that information overwhelm you. Just sit with it. Let it open your heart. Oh, there's more information for me here. I don't have to keep doing it this way. Yes. 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 We need you balanced. We need you balanced, light worker. We do not need you perfect. We do not need you fully ascended in this now moment. There is no rush. Why? Because the faster you get there, the longer you have to wait for the others to join you. So take your time and enjoy where you are. There are beings around you that are benefiting from you. And there is energy around you that you are benefiting from in this moment. 
don't overlook the importance of the exchange where you are. If the frequency where you are wasn't needed, you wouldn't be there. Your soul is clearly choosing this experience, whether your egoic structure and personality enjoys it or not. Your soul has chosen this. Whatever you were overcoming, whatever you were learning to recognize in a broader fashion, you will take with you outside of this matrix. That is why we promise you, you don't have to siphon your energy through that. Siphon all energies through your heart. Siphon all energy through your heart. And if you are healed, your heart will lead you. It will not bring you to more trauma. Yes, we are glad for this conversation. We are glad for the moments that you are able to continually show up for yourself. We will ask you time and time again to be nicer to yourself. Be more respectful and kind of yourself. Be more understanding of yourself in this process. Like Crystal says, sometimes you have to look at situations in your life that are hard, like a child falling off their bike. Oh, you scraped your knee? It's okay. Get up. Get up. Try again. This has been a massive upgrade for Crystal's body. She channeled this information today without trying to figure it out. And inside of her body right now, she feels massive amounts of heat. Many of you are feeling a lot of heat in the body as well. And we will see the say, this is how you are knowing that your cellular structure is shifting into a higher vibrational form. Your body is shifting into a higher vibrational consciousness crystal because you are allowing information to flow through you without defining it. And as you are doing this, you are locking this into the grid for the rest of the collective to begin to understand, ground, and utilize energetically. Please keep staying in your flow. As you understand oneness, you are transforming the collective and it is not through the words that you are saying or the words they are understanding. It's because in this moment you are being who you have always been meant to be. Sweet sister of the light, we love you. And everything that you are shifting and transforming is adding to this beautiful puzzle. And there will be a time when you will look back at this puzzle and recognize the beauty in the photograph that is placed upon all the pieces that you were able to put together through the years. And we can't wait for that moment. It's going to be a very beautiful moment. And thank you for understanding that that moment is a moment of co-creation and it is outside of your timeliness. You see, Crystal is very aware that not all of these messages are coming together yet for her either. And she stays open. That wasn't easy for her in the beginning. And we understand that it's not easy for many of you now. Your spirituality is a practice. It is not a crown that is bestowed upon your head. It is an energetic integration that you must continue to ground. Grounding physically into this body without allowing your mind to be the one processing all of the information. Let your heart be the one processing the information. 
Your heart will feel into the frequency and not need these limiting words to describe what is happening, to understand what is happening. You will just be okay with the energy of it. And in that, like we said earlier, you receive the full download. We know many are feeling frustrated at this time. And we will say, good, this is a collective release. It is you walking away from the things that have felt very powerless. It is you stepping back into your light. And when you understand emotion and the way it releases energy from your body, and allows an indication of whether or not you are on the path or not. You will find your emotions to be fun and not so much a torment. Keep going. You are on the path. You couldn't get this wrong if you tried. You are receiving all of the information that you need. If there was any information that we were trying to get to you, Lightworker, we would overcome your blockage. We promise. Because we are the higher aspects of your soul. You want to talk about free will? Free will many times comes from the soul's perspective, not the human's perspective. The humans do have free will, but it is not free will of the ego. It is free will of the soul. This is why many don't understand how they are manifesting so many things that they think may not be in their highest interest. But the soul knows in order to overcome certain programming, there are things that need to be experienced. Stay balanced. Let your collective expand. Hold space for yourself. Hold compassion for yourself and know that you are bringing that into the oneness of all that we all are together. When we tell you our mission is complete, we mean it. We wouldn't be where we are in the timeline we are in if you hadn't already done the work that you are doing. Please feel our gratitude please know that you will receive the fruits of your labor. You are protected. You are guided by divine consciousness. And this co-creation is something that never ends. So get comfortable, get comfortable. Even outside of this earthly experience, you are still expanding. And when we say get comfortable, we don't mean in your limitation and in your structure. We mean get comfortable in the unknown because you are always walking through it from a soul's perspective also looking for the most delicious experience, the most delicious harmonizing of frequency. Understanding energetics will explain so much for you. Keep going. Crystal said last week, there are not enough words in the English language to describe her gratitude for what is happening within the energetic alchemist. We would also like to explain and express, we agree, there are not English words to express levels of love, gratitude and appreciation that are felt outside of density. So in this moment, we are going to ask that you place your hands upon your heart. Take a deep breath. 
give yourself a moment to feel us without words feel our appreciation feel our pride feel our celebration as it is all already done there is not a moment that we are not with you hold that close to your heart We love you endlessly, without any limitation. Exactly where you are, you are enough. We are enough. And it's changing everything. Chin up, buttercup. The light is here. Stop waiting. Let it in. We are complete.